Hi, welcome to Bookie. Today we will unlock the book The Lost Art of Listening, How Learning to Listen Can Improve Relationships. Many people may be troubled by several scenarios in their lives. Wives complain that their husbands take for granted what they have done. Husbands complain that their wives nag and take too long to get to the point. Parents complain that their words fall on deaf ears with their children. Children complain that their parents are too busy scolding instead of hearing them out. When we chat with our friends, they appear to be listening, but they betray their lack of interest by glancing around and shifting their weight back and forth. The reason for these problems is that often we don't actually listen to what others say. As a result, our conflicts with others are getting worse, and so does the quality of our lives. Therefore, it is particularly important to learn how to listen. So, what makes good listening? How can we improve our relationships by listening? Nichols answered these questions in The Lost Art of Listening, How Learning to Listen Can Improve Relationships. Although this book is about communication, it does not set out to explain how to speak. Instead, it starts with how to really hear what the other person says, and then it analyzes obstacles to listening. Finally, it talks about how to break these obstacles and help readers solve the problems of talking but not listening and the failure to be understood. In this book, Nichols recounts many real family problems and sad stories. Then he offers corresponding practical techniques to address these problems. Meanwhile, simple and practical exercises combine theory with practice. Whether for professional consultants or the general public, it is a relevant book that should not be overlooked. Nichols is a U.S. American writer of classic bestsellers and a professor of psychology. He has practiced psychological counseling in family therapy for over 30 years. When writing this book, he was able to use his own and his patients' stories to determine the essence of listening. Next, we will extract the key points from this book through the following three parts. Part 1. Why is listening so important? Part 2. What are the obstacles to listening? Part 3. How can we become better listeners? In modern society, people are under great pressure. The fast-paced lifestyle makes us too busy to listen to one another. However, listening plays a vital role in our lives. This book mentions three meanings of listening. First of all, listening represents our understanding, respect, and attention toward others. In Nichols' view, being listened to means being recognized, and being heard means being taken seriously. It satisfies our need for self-expression and our need to communicate with others. If others do not respond to us when we talk to them, we feel frustrated and get hurt easily. Each of the following cases gives such an example, a wife comes home from a business trip, eager to tell her husband how it went. He listens, but after a while, something in his eyes betrays that his mind has wandered off. Or a child happily tells his parents that it has won an award, yet they don't seem as happy as the child had imagined. Or your old friend got married. In the past, he would listen attentively to everything you say, but now he doesn't seem really interested anymore. Very few people in our lives pay attention to what we say. When others do not respond to us, we feel that we are not understood or taken seriously, and our feelings get hurt. We may seek consolation through the following ways, we turn on the TV even when there is nothing to watch, or escape into the online world and treat ourselves to fictional characters. Such escapism may relieve your stress temporarily, but it does not help you solve the problem. You may feel even emptier and more upset afterward. See? The lack of attention and recognition from others will cause us a certain degree of psychological harm. We all need to be listened to. We yearn to be heard on the basis of understanding and respect. We expect others to show us attention. The second meaning of listening is that it shapes us and connects us to each other. Listening shapes our characters. The child that is listened to and understood by its parents grows up whole and secure. Among scientific findings on the importance of listening, Daniel Stern's research on infants has the most profound implications. He believes that an infant is never 